Hi everyone, today I've got a new discussion video and this is the booktubing things that I suck at. So basically everything that I'm bad at when I'm booktubing. This particular discussion was started by Jessica and Stacey at Chapter Chicks and I did also see it on Priscilla from the Readables channel as well, so I'll link both of them below. Please check them out because as you would expect from top quality booktubers, the videos are absolutely fantastic. I know that every day when I film a video, there is always an improvement and naturally over time I do improve. I always find mistakes as well that I learn from and I just think, you know, I'm nowhere near perfect yet, but I am trying my best. I am trying to be a good booktuber as best as I can. So the first thing I suck at is doing reviews. I'm very bad at doing reviews in terms of actually getting them done, because I do very little reviews on my channel for some reason. I just don't seem to get around to them. And then to do a variety of reviews as well is really hard, because a lot of people say you only review YA books. You should branch out, but hopefully over time I will with my new monthly themes. That should get me reading a greater variety of different genres. Also, coming up with a synopsis for every single book when I review it is very hard. It's probably one of the hardest things, one of maybe the most stressful things about booktubing. Because I always make my reviews non-spoilered, it's very hard to still make it sound very exciting, but not give any spoilers when doing a synopsis. And then if it's a sequel to a book as well, it's even more complicated. The next thing that I suck at would be editing, because sometimes it gets a little bit jumpy, a little bit choppy. This is just probably because I actually cut through half the sentences when I'm like still saying them. So. It can look a bit of a mess sometimes. I just need to really get smoother editing. I need to get used to editing a little bit better. The third point is lighting and colouring. Yes, sometimes it does look a little bit weird. Sometimes I look like a bit of an orange monster, even though in real life I'm not one. Basically, when I'm going between editing programs, when editing the video, the quality sometimes drains. And with this, the lighting and the colour sometimes drains as well. So when it gets to YouTube, it's not actually as good as it potentially could be. Because of this, I use the YouTube enhancements. I probably add a bit too much colour sometimes and I've realized this so I do always go back to what it was before but sometimes it just makes me look a little bit orange the next thing is grammar and pronunciation when I am editing I realized I say so many stupid things that are so grammatically incorrect and I get so irritated with them probably as much as you get irritated with me for making them I actually know how to use correct grammar but for some reason when I'm speaking it just doesn't happen I have no idea why. I'm fine when I'm writing. It must be a totally different world when you're filming. And then I'm always pronouncing characters and authors' names completely wrong. Someone will always correct me in the comments and I'm like, that's totally different to how I thought it was. I feel like I might come across as stupid if I make such bad pronunciation errors, so please bear with me. I will learn pronunciation over time. The next point is about social networking, more so in particular for Twitter, and I do tweet a lot. I have a lot of authors following me, I have a lot of booktubers following me. I am very appreciative of that, but sometimes I don't always tweet about books and I feel bad because you might not want to read all the randomness tweets that I sometimes tweet. I am not that good at sticking to one topic. I tweet about anything I can. I love tweeting. I just have this addiction to tweet. And then if someone sends me a direct message, this is also another thing which I'm incredibly bad at. I never realise it's been sent until like a month or two after. So. If I take a while to reply to them, I'm sorry. I would also like to say that I'm bad at tags in terms of getting around to them. I am okay at doing the actual tags when I do them. I love them because they're really fun, really casual just to answer the questions. But I find that I always say to people when they tag me, I will do it, I will do it, I'm going to do it next week. And then two months after, I've still not done it. And I feel so bad and so apologetic when I get around to it because... I just feel bad that people have been waiting. Sometimes I have to do tag extravaganzas just to get a lot out of the way that I want to get around to. But hopefully with my two weeks of videos over the next two weeks, I will be able to actually catch up on a lot of the tags that I've been tagged for. So I'm really looking forward to doing them. The seventh point is about meeting and discovering new booktubers, which is something that I'm not actually that good at because I can never find the new booktubers. If you're a new booktuber, I will find you eventually. It just takes a lot of time. For some reason, I just can't find you. I don't know what it is. I have to say a huge thank you to Elizabeth Books for doing the booktube noobs videos every month. I find them so useful to find new booktubers. But I want to find them myself too. I want to welcome people to this amazing community. I want to encourage them. I want to give them some new advice if they want it and tell them how good it actually is. The eighth point is about pressure to read. Sometimes I do feel a little bit pressured to read. If I see booktubers reading maybe like 10 or 15 books a month and I'm reading three or four, 
it can be a little bit pressurising that I should actually be reading more, I should be reviewing more books, I should be reading them, getting more opinions out there, but in reality I should really just relax and enjoy them because I find that reading at a slower pace for me means that I enjoy the books more, I take in the information better. So at the moment, as a result of this, I'm trying to read at a little slower pace because I'm enjoying it more and I don't need to rush because there's no need to rush, I just want to enjoy it and take my time over the books. The ninth point is about ending videos and for some reason I'm really bad at doing this. I keep saying thank you so much at the end of every single video. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, thank you for living, thank you for being a booktuber, just thank you for being here. It gets a little bit crazy actually. If you saw an unedited video where I was at the end, it would be very shocking. I'm not even going to bother to even show you it in like a bloopers video or anything because it will not be pleasant. It's not good when I'm just saying thank you, thank you, thank you so many times. Obviously, I'm very thankful for you subscribers out there, but I can't keep thanking you for like 10 minutes like I somehow do. Final point is about smiling and looking enthusiastic in my videos, which I completely agree with. A lot of people have actually said on that survey that I did, I need to smile more, I need to have fun, I need to relax, which I'm trying to do a lot more now in my videos. I think I am improving at smiling because I absolutely love doing booktubing videos. I want that to come across more. So hopefully now I am trying to smile more, it will be okay. I did try to add music once for like an illusion of being like enthusiastic and happy, but it didn't really work for me. So I am trying to smile, I'm trying to be happy and live a booktubing life where we have fun. So that is going to be it for today's video. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, share and subscribe. And I will see you again tomorrow for a new video.